Okay, we're back, and to be completely honest, the only favor this episode has done for me is that scene with the book, and hopefully their love continues. Our ancient beings who manage humanity's excesses. Don't get me wrong. So are they, they're out here responsible for just like killing multitudes of people just for the sake of like overpopulation? Is that why they do like the earthquakes and the floods and the, um, this? <laughs> Gemma, the Black Plague, intriguing. COVID-19 inspired. <laughs> we were meant to have gotten the location of their ship so we can implant the mortality code. I can't push them. Ugh, he's so double time in this shit. He's just like Constantine and killing Eve. Lena wanted to use Miria to disperse her Q-wave mind control, but if you turn it on in reverse, it will compress the Q-waves in the atmosphere. Whoa, surprises. It possible for you to track the psychic signature. That's a smart idea. And it wouldn't be dangerous? Your hands. No. It'll go. So now he's he's still working for Lex. He's keeping them in he's keeping Leviathan in Lex's favor by making like making them use Myriad. The trial continues to exhibit positive results of Q wave adoption. <laughs> we have a lace and her well, curly hair vibes. I love it so much. I recognize the signature of this interruption. It's Myriad. Yesterday I thought I had an Honest conversation with Supergirl, and today I find out that she's using Miriam to interrupt my- Ugh, Lex, you keep cock-blocking them. I hate you with all of the fires in every universe. If she's using Miriam, I want to see it for myself. Besides, you at the fortress sounds apocalyptic. God damn you, Lex. Oh my god, they're back in the fortress together. We're missing dozens of them stuck in Obsidian's VR. I have to find them. There are other ways to find people. Is Myriad like. Myriad reminds me of freaking. What's it called? Cerebro <laughs> from X Men. Oh, the Myriad, I can think of. No, I didn't think so. You just returned to your default position of blaming the Luther. Oh my god, stop with this. I'm over it. I don't want to see them fight anymore. It's. We get it. We get it. You want angst, we get it. Treat me like a villain. If you acted like one, yeah, I did say that. And right now you're trespassing and I don't have time for this. You need to go and leave when you stop using Myriad. It's not gonna happen. Do you think that I was sincere with you yesterday? Y'all thought you, you, you had made progress. I'm... And I guess you're used to being two-faced. <sighs> How did a white Martian get in there? Why is this taking so long? Um, so wait, she accidentally they, they she accidentally let the white Martian open the door where the sunsucker was? And it now Kara isn't dying. Long enough for a sun eater. Oh sun eater. I said sunsucker. I feel like mine is better. It's impossible. Supergirl, are you there? Lena, get on Supergirl helping her. Supergirl. You caused this. Maybe. You're gonna be like, oh shit, I was really mad at you, but I didn't want you to die. To save her. Oh, hey! Good to see ya. Your brother felt the cue in. Han Solo never looks so good. <laughs> oh my god, I miss them so much. Why can't she come back? Let's go save the sun. They love each other. I love them. I want them together. Oh man, looks like we're about to die. <clears throat> Gotta get my VR lenses on my iPhone 10. He just phased right into that big old octopus. Phased right in. Grab that. Yeah, you need that. Oh my god, look at how terrible that CG is. That was the goofiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and once again, Lena and Kara are not on good terms. Right on schedule. Have you figured out what the Morai wanted or who she works for? Oh, that's a Morai. LOL, not a white Martian. The psychic trail. I know where those missing people are. And that's when they find Lex having saved all of them. Present day. Lex. Since I'm assuming you and your friends dealt with the big blackout. You're not gonna try and pin that on me, are you? No, that was Leviathan. And Lena and you. <laughs> but 
but lean on accident. Leviathan, given the breadth of our <sighs> I mean, someone's got to give him his comeuppance once in a while. Explain yourself. He was trying to before you zappied. I moved them and then pinned their existence on someone else. So I connected Margot to Amy Sapphire and... Pin their existence on someone else. Pin their existence on exactly you in your Divorced organization. But first, you must kill Supergirl. She will always foil the plan. No, no, no. This is the motivation that Lena needs to get her ass into gear and to finally realize that Lex is a piece of shit and that he's trying to kill her best friend slash lover. I'm so glad we finally have a night to spend some time alone as a couple. A couple? A couple of what? <laughs> Psychopaths? Yeah. It's because of who you are. He's gonna be like, mm. How could I not love you? Oh. Oh, no, that's not, mm. Sorry to have to tell this to you, but uh. Tess Mocker, you sad, silly woman. Of course you love me. You thought I could love you back. Oh, God, he's terrible to her in every universe. <laughs> I don't understand. I needed a spy inside Leviathan. Oh, and uh. As why in the world would he like bring this? If unless this is part of his plan for whatever reason, why on earth would he want to lose her as an ally? For your mother, those cars I showed you, the men in them are just. Waiting to pull the trigger if you ever betray me. No, the man you murdered is uh, Supergirl's father. <gasps> oh. You are worse than Leviathan. Not worse. Better. Better. Better at just being the worst. And I did it my way. He loves that song. Why does he want to go to the fortress? cleaned out though the fortress was cleaned out god that episode was boring okay what a way to come back this is all said in sarcasm by the way but what a way to come back after weeks of not having any supergirl episodes come back on an episode that's just all about lex and freaking kill me that was just a really really like it i guess it was okay like it was fine to see that like get confirmation that lex was behind everything that we suspected he was behind and that he's basically playing both sides and that he's playing Leviathan, he's playing Supergirl, he's playing everybody, he's playing Eve, but it was also super boring and I just don't. Uh, <laughs> I hate him and he keeps cockblocking Lena and Kara's relationship, getting back on track for his own sinister plot. I don't have much more to say other than if Lena was willing to offer that olive branch to Kara so soon after the whole like villain comment, she's, you know, she's gonna do it again and again and again every time. This is how their relationship goes, whether Lex is involved or not. It's like, oh, on the one hand, Lena's always gonna try to offer that olive branch to Kara and Kara's always gonna try to be back, like, to be friends with Lena again. Like, that's never gonna stop happening. It's just being delayed slightly by Lex and his stupid meddling. It just proves that she is capable of being genuine and genuinely wanting to like be friends with her again. Albeit now it's a little bit delayed again because Lex ruins everything. Lex ruins lives. He ruined my life in this episode. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. Please follow me on Twitter at Lady in the TV. Subscribe to this channel for more and check out my Patreon where you can get these reactions a day earlier than they will be put up on YouTube. And I will see you back here next week for episode 18.